What's the next topic? Oh. It's time for new news. Sports where all the girls get dressed for sports, but the vote don't have no tennis shoes. <laughs> she never runs, and she doesn't do sports. But she's here to do it anyway. I'm just going to be quiet. Red light people don't do that. Okay, I don't have to talk anymore. <laughs> yeah, girl, you a part of this. No. Yes, you do. You're part of the I'm sports. You're going to give us the natural insight. This is the way. We love to hear what natural girls we love to talk about. We get all the natural girls together, no, you and then we don't. talk to them about shit they don't care about, like <laughs> power tools, sports, <laughs> women jumping on trampoline with big breasts. All that kind of stuff we talk to them about. And so we want you to be part of the same experience. So we want you here for the new new sports. <laughs> and we know how much you love sports, <laughs> the sporty people, the sport and life. <laughs> oh, not Devo. I'm, I'm not saying nothing, Victor. You see that? I just want to ask you a question. What's your, what, what's your favorite sport? <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Tick tock. Now, you can be honest now. There's nothing like an attractive woman who has no interest in sports whatsoever. It's how she says she has no interest in sports. Well, I do. I do actually watch some sports. What? Like, what? Well, some? That's more than one. <laughs> Come on. What, what sport? I like swimming. What? When the Olympics time, I like. Oh, to so watch she watches it every four years. She watches <laughs> Olympic swimming. And um, <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, what else? The other sport. So it's, it's, it's bad in a hundred. Twenty twelve. Looking for a date. It was a, looking for a date in twenty twelve. Yeah, what's the other sport? <laughs> looking for a date. Playing for 2012. Let me think. Let me think. Uh, uh, man, okay. All right, Vic. Well, anyway. Well, that's about it, huh? All right. Exactly. Moving right along. Swim, swim. Well, take a look at this outfit. Okay. It's disgusting as it is. I know. It's such a wonderful. I'm trying to hold back. Okay. I know. That doesn't matter if she, she had locks. Ooh. Then I'll put you in the context. Of this. There you go. You got that's it. I'll help you get it all sorted out. You know out. what? They haven't got that far into doing that type of stuff. Those girls still got those type of hairs. When you can see locks flying like that, it's probably 2014, 2016. Oh, we going to have too long then. Not too long, but they're not ready for is, it. Is fuzzy pubes coming back? What? I was just wondering. I don't know, Mario. You know, you you do do all about fashion. You did. <laughs> you remember, did you I predict don't... when they went out, when they left? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking don't about it when they up on left. You too. Oh. Would you stop and go, Man, Victor? Man, it's stuck up on a bunch of us. Okay, All is right, that Vic. why you put me up here sitting next to him? I'm just trying to stay in the sports because we try to know when certain that, things coming back. That girl does not have locks, period. Next, what's number 18? What's it to I was just, we said, but she's going to have it in 27, 2016. She might. She won't be around So in about five more it. years, she's yeah. going to have locks. Her, her kids will Damn, have Yeah, I'm going to get me a white woman. Well, hey, <laughs> <laughs> well, DeVoe just did a what, what would they call a wonderful They have locks lady. in five years. Hey, look, Devon, you help us here because you put in perspective why sports and sex are intermingled, right? Yeah, they they, they are, right? They are very much. Okay. okay, well, this young lady will get locks if if you wish it to be. No, I don't, I'm not wishing locks on anybody. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. I'm just saying. You told me to have a visual of this white woman with locks and cheerleading, and I'm like, she would look hot. It, it, yes, yeah, she would, but it's not happening in 2000. You able to visualize it? You can do it in 2017, but, but, maybe. But that's we, that's good. That's close. Well, I can wait. Well, then wait and go on. Oh, what, why are we talking about this? <laughs> okay, let me give me one of well, Auburn well, girls. Well, you know what? <laughs> what the whole part about it is to see the bonding that takes place between you two because it's it's like. Eve and Adam, not Adam and Eve. Thank you. You can get on top. <laughs> okay. And now there's you natural people I'd be in control. <laughs> Wait a minute. With a face like that, DeVoe, you deserve your own show. Sorry. Okay. That's okay. He makes me look like No that. crinkly forehead. That's right. That's right. Hey you guys, welcome. I Here love we go. You. I love we gotta you. do the we gotta do the rap on this because yeah. it's a lot of sports to control and cover. Okay, let's go. I this, love you, though. This, this picture is representing the Atlanta Falcons because would you believe right now that the Atlanta Falcons are the top NFC team in the it, period as it relates to the conference? So, Mario, before you point out something. They're nine the vote, and, and two. two. Don't do that, man. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> try it. Try it. That's cool. What does that mean? Nine and two. I'm just telling you. Well, nine and two. How does that sound to you? It's the best record. Oh, they won nine, lost two? Yes. You rather they were... Five and seven. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to understand. 
We're just making sure they, the, the, everybody understands the sports today. It's a good sport. Yes. Well, you know what? And, it's nine and, and two. And, and Devoe, this may not be important to you, but you know, in in the football world, Michael Vick has been the uh, kind of the comeback kid lately. But here's a team that he actually abandoned for various reasons. We won't get into the background of it. Uh-uh. But the bottom line here's the Atlanta Falcons. So, Mari, how interesting would this be if Michael Vick? Philadelphia Eagles and Atlanta met in the conference finals for the NFC. Who would you root for? Oh, Vic, I would root for uh, the Indiana uh, uh, Pacers. <laughs> See, you won't get no argument from DeVoe because she... What do you think, DeVoe? <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> because you know what I like about the Pacers? Oh, no. I like teams that are named after creatures, animals, like Pacers and horses. Okay. As opposed, especially like the ones that are named after like uh, Native Americans, like you know the Florida Seminoles or the Redskins. Yeah, that's the meaning. So I like the ones named after little for like the this is so little wrong. furry this is woodland so creatures, preferably. But mm-hmm. what, did you answer his question? <laughs> huh? Did you answer his question properly? Which, which, I don't know. I <laughs> I sometimes do it improperly, but uh, you're always improper. Okay. Okay. Did you answer his question? I just wanted to know what you thought. Well, you I, know, I mean, being as you have dreadlocks, we know you know absolutely nothing about sports. <laughs> but some of them do. No? Some of them do. Some, some of them do. You talk about Michael Vick, the guy with yeah, the dogs. Yeah, well, yeah. Now, And no one's referencing it as much as anymore, DeVoe. It's just interesting that they the team... They don't talk about the dogs. The, the, team, okay, that, just the team that he came from while this was occurring was Atlanta Falcons. And nobody okay. picked See, the Atlanta. named after the creatures. See, Falcons, dogs, got birds, it. Birds, they like goals. They See? fly. Okay, and, they, and they're doing well. Nine Bengals and tigers. And Mike has something to do with the Falcons? <laughs> well, the, he used to be on the team when he had all his uh, problems or issues with the, with oh, the dogs. Peros. So where is he now? Philadelphia. Oh, he moved. On the Eagles. Yeah. Oh, well, he's still a, doing named good. After, Falcons, Eagles. Named after a bird. Okay. A wonderful bird, a symbol. <laughs> Feathers. Of our freedom. A Feathers. Symbol. Wonderful Feathers. eagle. They are in danger. Oh, they are. But remember, they are a wonderful symbol of our freedom. That's right. <laughs> so, the Philadelphia Eagles. Hush, okay. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Mario didn't pick, but he will eventually. He'll, he's going to pick between Atlanta and Michael Vick and the Eagles, but we're not going to go there. Did no. you watch the game? Unfortunately, the head bowed here is a, a theme with Indianapolis Colts who went against the Chargers, San Diego. And when you talk about a team that got a beat down, I'm sorry, dude. I, I had to put the theme here, can't run, can't hide for a reason, because the running game by Indianapolis was 23 yards. And... This man had four interceptions. He so, looks disappointed. So Peyton Manning, he does, does me. Peyton Manning has, has, has an issue. So, DeVoe, uh-huh. if a person performs that badly, a quarterback, mm. what do you think the re- real issue with Peyton Manning is? He looks sad. Me what do you think it is? Yes. He's got some issues. I think maybe he needs some counseling. <laughs> he might need a hug. <laughs> you know, sometimes when people, you know, do a lot of failure, uh-huh. it's because nobody's there to encourage them. Mm-hmm. So maybe he has some personal problems. What's wrong with him? Uh, Mario, you want to help her? Do you think uh, he has personal problems or he well, just got his ass whooped? You know, I think if you don't get enough roughage in your diet, <laughs> you know, you don't get enough roughage what, in your did diet. Did he just get his butt whooped? Is that what's then going on? Then you get that bloated feeling. Yeah. Cast, you know, just um, mm, you're not yourself. Yes. What happened to him? Why is he down? Well, there like was a game yesterday against San Diego, and San Diego has the uh, Indianapolis Colts number. But Named the bottom after line, a little again, an animal, a wonderful <laughs> horse in the prime of its life, a colt. This one doesn't Indianapolis have Indianapolis Colts, yes. okay. named after the horses. Got, okay, mm. hippity hop, you know, hop, running. Yeah. That's right. Run. One mm-hmm. of your favorite sports, right, Devo? You like football, right? If I had to watch any sports, it would be football. Why is that? Why is that? Well, it's active. You know, baseball is a little boring, and you got to wait for the ball to get hit. Then you watch where the ball lands. Football, they're running. They're doing it. They're jumping on each other. Sometimes even get emotional when they all jump on one guy. Everybody goes, boom, like boom, 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 boom. I'm like, <laughs> <Kinda> like <laughs> prison. Feel that, little, feel that, you know, like tingle. I like Poor that guy. part. Shut up. <laughs> So, okay. in any sports, it would be football. <laughs> okay, all right. But anyway, so what's oh, what's up with him? He just lost well, yesterday, and he's upset. You still getting paid? Okay, don't he's be got upset. That bloated feeling. Well, you know, yeah, it all. De- well, here's the thing. You know, Indianapolis is a perennial playoff team. They still head their division. Here's the thing. Based on what San Diego shows, because you know this is the progression, Mario. When other teams say, "Well, we know how to play them," do you think they have to win their division 
to win out because the wild card is going to come from some other uh, mm. dip division. So do you think they're going to make the playoffs, Mario, or was that just a, a blip in the schedule? I think they'll make the playoffs, but just like DeVoe said with her wonderful insight, that's about as far as they go because, you know, ultimately when you have uh, the Colts, you need, you know, to feed them, right? <laughs> Alfalfa. Maybe he's being starved. Maybe, and they need a little more encouragement. And maybe if we have a moment of bond, just, you know, sort of rem- reminding us why we're doing all this, then maybe they could go further. They need an intervention. Maybe they can go to Malibu. What I do think, you think? Yeah. most of them probably live in Malibu. I okay. suggest a McRib. <laughs> How about a, some McRibs? A, mi- a McRib. A mi- those are wonderful at a more rib. my attitude. A McRib. I know. I've been trying to get the vote to have We want to get through the sports <laughs> section, okay? So have I you can had a McRib lately? Picks. So go ahead, Victor. I can no. go ahead. The folk pork patty. Boneless pork patty. <laughs> Devo, you, yes. you you know that the rib you know was going to Okay, be forget the ribs. <laughs> we're talking about this guy number eighteen. Well, we're going to get past him because okay, past Mario him. still has to. You know, he he's giving his color co- co- commentating. Will you get serious. He is serious. He's looking at the ground, watching his foreskin drag in the sand. Oh. He, okay, you know I give up. You give up. Mario is never think? going to be <laughs> sane. Again. What is he looking at? I don't know. Maybe he could be looking at his little pouch belly. Oh, yeah. That's the I way don't... men when they're at the urinal, that's the pose they take. At the urinal. <laughs> they they want to like lock eyes. <laughs> you don't want to be looking at the other guys, you know, like Well we shouldn't be. You should be watching where you're peeing. Well now you think oh. that shows you right there how to do it. Okay. Okay. What? Now you know. I, you know, this is confusing. Oh, that's okay. Devo, I'm gonna help you. Thank you. I'm gonna go to a subject that women love okay. and Uh-oh. what men do. Wedding women, makeovers? No, women love men that fight. Especially fight for them. But in this situation, Cortland Finnegan of the Tennessee Titans, the DB, and of course, Andre Johnson of Houston, the Houston Texans, got into a fight. Mario, did you check out the fight, man? Yes, and I think when well, your name is Cortland Finnegan, you're starting off with a handicap. So you got to <laughs> give him love. Do you know anybody named that? You know anybody close? Cortland Finnegan? Nope. Hey, Finnegan, I, uh, I wish you <laughs> Did you want to dance a jig, laddie? I get a little leprechaun they, to come and play football. What are they fighting over, Victor? Why are they fighting? Hey, well, well lucky, football, football, lucky charms. football players fight all the time. I know, but what what happened here? Do you know? Wait, uh, I tell you what. I, well, I, it's I, over wardrobe. <laughs> they he wanted to wear the dark jersey, and the other guy had the dark jersey. You know how y'all get backstage with the wardrobe, especially when it comes to shoes. It'd be really sad. If they very similar. Very similar. I'm sure he did something <laughs> stupid to one or the other. One well, let's just say this: Tennessee's losing. They got zipped, blanked by the team. That's, that's right. Yeah, uh, let's just say Cortland's on the left, getting his head smashed. He's a the other guy's that's a the, sore that's loser. That's the, that the winner. Yeah. <laughs> the one that's got his head towards the ground. <laughs> no, the one that's winning is number eighty. Oh, so. Andre Johnson actually beat far as a fight but here's where i think Cortland won he there's got a better name well he's close <laughs> if you get the main player the most valuable player on the team out of a game or a next game you actually win st- you know tactically because tennessee doesn't look like they're going to go into the playoffs and houston had some chance so mario here's who's the smarter move losing the fight or basically getting their MVP player kicked off the team for at least a game. They're one and the same, and I agree. That's the way I always got DeVoe out of well, competition. Well, I, no, I, shut I up. I think off getting him out the game, racket. getting getting him out the game would Run be off of the, earth shoes. the thing to do. <laughs> uh, getting him out the game would be the thing to do. Shut up, Mario. God. Dog. You having a rough time, DeVoe? Yes. That's okay. So,